What's going on everyone? Daryl's back on Hearthstone and today I am just going to show you a really awesome ninja deck. This is the deck that I used to um, play my last Hearthstone battle with and it is very very good. Um, I've only lost a couple times with this and this has got me all the way to sorry, if I just back out if I go into play it has got me to rank 16 already and I've only played like what 10 games so yeah ever since I got to rank 21 I made this deck and I've just got to rank 16 and I've only lost one game so this is really powerful and yeah so I'm gonna run through it this is what the video is going to be about so if you don't want to watch the rest understandable so first off we're going to start off with a hand of protection hand of protection is really good because it like say you have say you have it late game and you get guardian of kings then it's a really good card to not kill guardian of kings really useful uh, also with noble sacrifice if you want if you have like knife juggler on the field and they have like mm, uh, what's a really annoying card that's a uh, to health. Oh, fa fairy dragon, for example. They can attack um, when the fairy enemy fairy dragon attacks, for example. Then it is going to die. Um, a Argent Squire because it's always useful for a turn one play. Then we're going to have two equalities because say they, uh, say they, possibly, I don't know, they get loads of minions on the board. It's always useful to get this to trade. Always useful. Argent Protector, just because it's always good to give minions Divine Shield. Fairy Dragon, because it is like just is a very OP card, can't be targeted by uh, hero power. So if you're playing against the mage, kind of counters the mage quite a lot. If you're playing against the well, it's another annoying one. If you're playing against the priest and he has his card that allows it to attack, like his hero power allows it to attack, can't be killed by that. Knife Juggler because it's like I put this in here because it's very very good if you're trying to get rid of level ones. Oops, what did I do that for? Uh, I need to put that in my deck quickly. And oh, we'll go for it later. Um, Sun Fury Protector because um, if you have loads of uh, bleh, I forgot what they're called, larger silver hand recruits. If you have loads of them on the board, then you're gonna like. It's just going to be good, because they give them Torn, so, yeah. Wild Pyromancer, like, the only reason I put this card in here is because I kind of wanted just to fill up some space. Like, it's a very useful card, it's a 3-2 for 2, and, yeah. The only problem with this card is that it's kind of spell-ish heavy, so, yeah. You have to be careful when you play this card. If you want to take this card out, um, if you're going to copy this deck, it's very, very um, agreeable. I would take it out, but <clears throat> I have come into some situations where the enemy has more board control than I do, and it's very useful to have. So, like, say you have, say you place an quality first, and then that, and then you place another spell, such as Consecrate or something, then it's going to do a lot of damage. Maybe not Consecrate, because it'll kill them, but whatever. Um, two Archon Protectors, I mean, older Peacekeepers, because they're very OP. Um, yeah, it's kind of self-explanatory, take, uh, change an enemy's Minion, eh, enemy minions attacked one. Can't read today. When can I read? <laughs> JK. Um, Shattered Sun Cleric. The only reason we want this is because buff. This deck is buff, taunt, and spell heavy. There's really not a lot of attacky cards. That, um, then we move on to our True Silver Champion. The only reason we want this is because we only have a couple heal cards. So, it's always useful to have this. As well as, uh, Blessing of Kings. So, say we place down our Guardian of Kings, that is then a 9-10 card, which is really useful. Consecrate, we always want this because it is the Paladin's card. It's just the Paladin's first card that you want to get. Uh, Hammer of Wrath is always useful because we need to draw cards if we are ever running low. Um, Defender of Argos, again, buff and taunt, so always useful to have. The reason I put... Um, Nushigu Warden in here is because it's a very, very good card to stop your enemy. It's a very, very useful card. If you're trying to draw cards and, like, yeah, if you put Blessing of Kings onto this as well, that's then a 5-11. So, yeah, that's a very, very dangerous card to have on the board. Avenging Wrath. Um, I have some queries with this card. If you have Avenging Wrath, put it in, but I think it should be nerfed. 
that's my opinion. The only reason I'm keeping in there now is because it's OP. It is very OP. If they have like, if they have four minions on the board and they're really all low health, use this card. It'll do a load of damage to them as well as the uh, give loads of damage to the enemy hero. Argent Commander, very very OP card. That's why we want it in here. Charge and Divine Shield for six is very very useful. You can get rid of so many different cards. Frost Elemental, um, always useful if they have loads of attacking cards such as. Uh, what's in Lord of the Arena? You can freeze that. It will be very, very useful to have. And speaking of Lord of the Arena, we always have a Lord of the Arena in the deck because it is a very, very trolly card. You place it down, they have to get past it. It's very, very difficult to get past, especially on turn six. And then, of course, we want a Guardian of Kings because um, very OP and Vengeance. Yeah, that's the only reason I want it in here because it screams out there and it's a five, six, or seven. So yeah, and it's another heal card. Um, and lastly, we oh not lastly, but oh yeah, lastly we want lay of hands, and I forgot the other card that I got rid of, but oh well, we want lay of hand in our deck because it's a heal card, so we only, we only have like what four cards, so yeah, and plus you get the draw from it, which is very useful. What was the other card that I lost? Um, um I can't remember, but yeah. Like, this is a very, very OP deck. And you can customize it to however you want. Oh, no, we also have Loot Holder. That's the one. We also want Loot Holder because of the draw. That's the only reason I put it in here. Just draws. So, yeah, like, this deck is based around everything. Taunts, charges, buffs, heals. Um, yeah. And it's very, very useful to have. I know you can have, like, more cards like um, Iron Beak Owl, which silences every mi uh, A minion. This is very useful, as well as you could put a pint size summoner in here, or um, what else could you put in here? I don't know. What else. You could also put a raid leader in here. It's very useful because if you have loads of different um, silver hand recruits and you put that on the board, then the two one, it's a two one like loads, and you will be using a lot of uh, silver hand recruits just because. There's not really a lot of cards that like do a mass amount of damage. There's only these three. And that's about it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. This is a very, very OP deck, trust me. The only reason... No, actually, mm, I'm not going to show you a game because I have to go out soon. So yeah, I'll probably show you a game or two later. Or in another video. But it is very OP. It's got me to rank 16, which is my highest rank so far. Last time I got to 19. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a wonderful day. This has been Daryl, and bye!